Um, Matt, uh, do you think uh, where we're at with the mayor's salary right now in, in uh, Toronto is enough? Or do you think, do you agree with the consultants that we should raise the price? Two things. First of all, with regard to what Lindsay said, I think, uh, while well, they don't get money on the on the front end, maybe while they're doing the actual job of filling the position, I think most of the mayors, I'm guessing, and I don't quote me on this, but I'm guessing on the back end through sitting on boards and things, they're well compensated. You know, I'm guessing mm -hmm. that they do end up um, earning, you know, larger sums of money down the road uh, doing that kind of mm -hmm. thing. When it comes, I think it should be, based on what you said, Steve, I think it should pretty much all, I think it should be a base and then a bonus structure based on what they accomplish, a revenue generated, revenue spent, all that kind of stuff. Uh, throughout the course of their term because like you said it's it, it's this it's this weird thing when you put someone in office and then you're not exactly sure of how they're gonna perform and what they're gonna do while they're in office I mean and, it, and it's weird I was just in it when I was traveling throughout Europe you know one of the things in England is they have a congestion tax you know and that was one of the things I found interesting my my stepsister was coming in from outside of a certain perimeter and she's like oh I had to register my car and pay a congestion tax if I want to be in the city and I'm coming from the outskirts and I'm gonna go you know add to the traffic in the city I got to pay I forget how much it was nine pounds a day and that's something that I'm like you know that'd be great for the city considering how much traffic we have I think a congestion tax and some of these things are definitely things we should look into speaking of uh, England one of uh, England's fine pastimes or people uh, in uh, the British family it would mm -hmm. be cricket and that's where you're at Yes, very, very, very true. We are here at the Cricket Club, Toronto's Cricket Club. Now, I just found out this is the only uh, cricket club of its kind within the GTA, actually within Ontario. It is the international standard right here. So looking at an incredible facility here, I'm joined by uh, our representatives who will be going to the UK on Friday. Now, this is Saad, correct? Did I say your name right? Yeah. Yeah, now, Saad, right. he is captain, captain of the team. He has been chosen as the representative. I said, who's the best bowler here? And by that, I mean, I guess, uh, to parallel to pitching in uh, baseball, and you're apparently the best pitcher. What uh, do you say about that? Yeah, um, I'm considering myself as the best bowler in the team. Yeah? Yeah. You're hum pretty humble, eh? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> they said it. They said it. You didn't say it. Well, yeah. Okay, so... For others to decide, not okay. by myself, yeah. So if they say it, then it's probably, the, it's probably true. Oh, you're the captain. You're, I saw you bowling there. Now, what you, now what's your technique? Uh, it depends. If you're a, uh, bowling, if, uh, if you're a fast bowler, then you try to run, uh, you take a couple of steps, and then you try to bowl as fast as you can. Okay. And if you're a spinner, then your main option is to bowl slow, but to turn the ball. And you're a spinner? Uh, yeah, I'm a spinner. So my, my, basically my strategy is to spin the ball, trying to defeat the batsman and trying to hit those stumps. Uh, okay, we're going to take, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take two pitches each. We're going to show, this is kind of like pros versus Joes. Uh, I am obviously the Joe. You are the professional here. So we're going to see how you do it, and then we're going to see how I do it. So two pitches each. Before we do our two pitches each and try to do a wicket, that's what they call when you strike them out. Right? Yeah, it's called out. Okay. Yeah. For, so for those of you who don't know, you're attempting to hit those sticks right here? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Now, you have to knock all three sticks down no, or how does it work? If, if it hits, he's out. Okay. Yeah. So you're just trying to hit the wicket, beat the batsman, and if he misses, hit the wicket, he's out. Okay, now before we do this, why is cricket one of the best games in the world? Well, uh, it has different versions of it. So if you like fast-paced cricket, it has a 2020 version of it. And if you like a slow-paced version, there is a test match called it's, It Goes On for Five Days. So it has... Uh, like for everybody, it has something in it. Okay, so. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to cut you off there. I can see you're passionate about it, and I can see we'll be talking a long time about cricket. And I know we want to pitch. We want to get to the action. Yeah, right. But I can see the passion. I can see the passion. Okay, so you're going to pitch. Then I'm going to pitch. We're going to take two pitches each. Can I borrow that ball from you? Thank you. I, I'll go over arm. Okay, of course, of course, of course. You go first. Hold on. Let's move this out of the way. Let's move this out of the way. Okay, go ahead. Sad. Now, in cricket, there's certain guys who actually are known as batters, other guys who are known as pitchers, and then other people known as outfielders. You don't do everything as you do in baseball. That was okay. Let me, my turn to go. Can you hold the mic for a sec? Yeah, sure. No problem. It's my turn to go. Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh. Okay, now your turn. Then I have, I, then I have one more. Oh, okay. Here's my last chance to strike you out. Is he good? Yeah, he's a good. He's the opening batsman, so he's pretty good. He's pretty good. Yeah. Don't let his size fool you. Okay, here. Oh. 
<laughs> that was my... <laughs> I'll be trying to bat next. We'll see how that goes. You're watching and listening to CB24 Breakfast. This is any indication I'm about to do some batting, okay? Um, now, for batting, can I get some tips here right now on batting? Since we have, everybody wants to pitch and strike me out or injure me, so I have on a lot of equipment right now just to be safe. Now, talking to the mic there, hey. some instructions on batting. Right, uh, the first thing that you need to make sure is that you watch the bowler's arm right from the very end. Okay. You keep your eyes on the ball, and depending on how the delivery comes at you, you decide what to play. What's the it's average speed of a pitch in cricket? Well, it can go all the way up to 150 kilometers per hour. And uh, if you get the, if you talk to the international players, but in here in Canada, we get people hitting 100 or 120. Yeah, even in the, this group, there are very fast bowlers we have in Toronto. Yeah. I don't want so, to but today, any. I don't want, for you, we we'll go around 40, 50. How's that? 40, 50. Yeah, I that's about know. half. That's about half. He yeah, has half the speed. I'm only. Let's baby see how you do. In. Let's see how you do. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to concentrate on the ball. This is the wicket right here. Now, if anything hits the wicket, I am out. Okay. Now the object is when the balls hit outside a perimeter line, I can. It's equivalent to six runs. If it's hit, if it bounces inside and then leaves the perimeter, it's equivalent to how many runs? Four runs. Four runs. Four runs. And then if you hit it anywhere inside the field, it's optional. If I think it's far enough that I can run to the wicket and score a run, I decide to do that. Okay, gentlemen. Okay. Oh, oh no! I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't want to hurt anyone. Attempt to put spin on the ball. I know someone sooner or later is going to whip one at me. I've seen them discussing how they're going to treat me. Now, some of the members on this team played in uh, previous years. Some are new. The big thing is they try to take, uh, you know, kids from all sorts of different communities and uh, I'll put them on a team together so they can learn about the different communities, about each other, and become future leaders. So there's kids from, you know, Upper Canada College, and there's kids from lower income, marginal marginalized areas. But um, <laughs> this could be dangerous. You're watching and listening to CB24. Thank it's you so much for that. My pleasure. Thank uh, you very as much. Always. All right. Uh, let's do uh, cricket, one of the most popular sports on planet Earth. And Matt is with some fine cricket players this morning. Good morning, sir. Yes, our own representatives here that will be going to the UK to represent Toronto, uh, Canada. Actually, we are here at the Toronto C Cricket Club, which is located on Wilson, a little bit west of Young Street. Now, gentlemen, the, you guys have all taken media training. Yes, sir. How'd that go for you? Oh, wonderful. Wonderful? Yeah. How long were you in media training? Uh, for a full day. For a full day? Yes. And what's the number one thing you learned about answering questions when it comes to the media? Uh, stay relaxed. Stay relaxed. Are yeah. you relaxed right now? Yes. You look relaxed. <laughs> Thank you. He doesn't look so relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> now, how old are you? I'm 16. How long have you been playing cricket? Uh, as a kid. Starting, I started as a kid, yeah. Really? Yeah. So how many years is that? 16 years. No, <laughs> in 16. Maybe 14, yeah. 14. No, yeah. No, if you're in the UK and yeah. they ask you, they say, you know, what can you tell us about Toronto? What are you going to say? Uh, it's a diverse uh, city with people from all around the world, and I'm proud to be representing. Okay. Yep. Okay. So you're pretty, you're pretty well trained at, at being in the, in the public eye. Uh, I hope so. Okay, why don't we swap roles? Why don't you take my right. role for a little bit? Okay, now you're the media. Why don't you ask me some questions? So, Matt, how was your day uh, playing cricket today? <laughs> it was pretty good. It was enjoyable. I was with some great representatives here from Toronto, so I'm hoping they're going to do us proud in the UK. Oh, okay. Did you learn anything? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I learned a lot about media training and what, how I should act <laughs> if I'm ever in an interview of sorts. I learned some great things. Uh, wonderful, man. Yeah. So should that's I continue? It, that's it. That's okay. it. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Good stuff, guys, and good luck. How many of you guys? How many in total is there here? 
12. 12. 12. 12 people going to represent an entire country of 30 million. No pressure, gentlemen. Enjoy your stay. How long will you guys be there for? We'll be there for 10 days, and I want to take the opportunity to... Oh, you want to plug some sponsors? No, 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 not sponsors. Uh, it, this trip won't be possible without the support from Mayor Miller. Oh, he we, supports... This is actually the mayor's team. I forgot about that. Team. This is yeah. mayor's team. And we have Royal Bank, Rogers, and City of Toronto Diversity Unit, and uh, many other people who have supported us, including the... Uh, uh, city council, yeah. many city councillors like Adam Vaughan. He's Hopefully, a the next mayor gets involved as well, right? And Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, the coverage, uh, the interest of the media for this tour has been very, very exciting for cricket, and it has done so much for cricket in Toronto because cricket has been so popular among the pockets of the city of Toronto. But nobody really knew it until Mayor Miller in 2005 started the Sima Canada, the Mayor's Trophy. I'll tell you what, though, we all know now CB24. We're, we're proud to be here this morning. You guys are both great representatives. And, and SEMA, SEMA, I, I didn't mention. SEMA? SEMA is Chartered Institute of Management Accountants. Okay. Yeah. They I think we knew it. I think we knew it was there. <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me they were there. All right, gentlemen, uh, have a great trip, and you're watching and listening to CB24 Breakfast. Thank you. Toronto's breaking news anywhere you go with CP24 Mobile. Weather, headlines, and exclusive traffic times. Stay connected with CP24.com on your mobile.